Hi, it's Katrina. From rumors of a long-lost dinosaur to sightings of a saber-toothed cat in the jungle, here are 11 extinct animals that still might be around. Number 11. The Congo's Last Dinosaur since the early 16th century, rumors have circulated that there is a strange, prehistoric creature living in the Congo Basin. Locals call it the Mokele Mbebe, and it is a mysterious beast that most people believe to be myth. It's described as a water beast about the size of an elephant, with a very long neck and long tail that lurks deep in the swamp. The description of the creature is a lot like that of a sauropod dinosaur, and in the 20th century, the legend captured the imagination of the entire world. The widespread notion that there is a dinosaur or a dinosaur-like reptile lurking somewhere in Africa was perpetuated by Carl Hagenbeck, an animal dealer and showman, who wrote a book on the topic in 1909. Bernard Hevelmans, the father of cryptozoology, further promoted the concept starting in the 1950s. The idea persists into the present day as evidenced by alleged sightings of the Mokele Mbebe, including video footage that has widely circulated the internet in recent years that allegedly shows baby dinosaurs scampering across a road. Other so-called proof has surfaced, including other videos, images, audio recordings, and alleged footprint casts, but the creature's existence has yet to be truly proven by science. Zambia also was rumored to be home to a sauropod-like beast, and the idea of a dinosaur still hiding in unexplored regions comes from mostly European foreigners who traveled there and had to deal with unknown monsters. No reliable sightings or evidence has turned up, even though scientists have conducted over a dozen failed expeditions to find it. In 1980 and 1981, Monster Hunter and retired University of Chicago biologist Roy McCall led an expedition to where the story seems to have originated and got more stories and legends directly from the locals, but no sight of the dinosaur. Do you think that there may be dinosaurs in the Congo or anywhere else lurking about? Let me know in the comments below. Number 10. Desert Rat Kangaroo Europeans first glimpsed the desert rat kangaroo during the 19th century. Known as the Ulakunta to the aboriginal people of Australia, the small creature was about the size of a rabbit, weighed less than a guinea pig, and was extraordinarily fast. English naturalist John Gold formally described the desert rat kangaroo in 1843, and it seemed to have vanished after that. The animal was presumed to be extinct and wasn't seen again until nearly a century later in 1932, when four aboriginal men helped mammal expert Hedley Herbert Finlayson track one down. Since then, there have been no confirmed sightings of the desert rat kangaroo, and it's once again considered extinct due to the length of time that has passed since it last appeared. Experts have searched extensively to see if it's still around and have even found some clues suggesting that it could be. But the chances of this being the case are close to zero, according to mammal expert Dr. Diana Fisher. Based on a statistical model that factors how often the desert rat kangaroo has been sighted and how long it's been since it was last seen, researchers have estimated the possibility that it still exists at 1%. But 1% is still higher than zero, meaning they haven't completely ruled out the idea that the creature still has a scarce presence, but experts certainly do not have high hopes. They believe that invasive red foxes killed it off and think it's highly unlikely anyone will ever see one again. Number 9. Malabar Civet A small dog-like carnivore called the Malabar Civet was thought to have gone extinct in 1929. With hunting and habitat loss in the creature's native region, the western ghats of India presumably to blame. But one was actually spotted in 1987 on a cashew plantation in Kerala, proving that the species was still hanging in there. By a thread at best, but it still counts. I'm sad to say that the villagers killed the lone civet, and in 1990, two of the animal's skins were procured. It's thought to still exist hidden away based on interviews with locals, who said that the few civets left were known to frequent protected areas. The species is classified as critically endangered. Some posts on social media during the recent lockdown claim to have seen the Malabar civet, but it was most likely a small Indian civet. The lack of human activity allowed many animals to come out from where they were hiding, and there were rumors that even leopards were roaming the streets. Because these creatures are so elusive, on top of being rare to begin with, it's difficult for experts to learn about them, and camera traps routinely fail to capture footage of any surviving specimens that might still be out there. So in any case, it is still very hard to say. 
And now for number eight. But first, I want to give a big shout out to our Raza Network and Sharon Checkle for supporting this channel. Let me know what animal you hope is still around the most, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number eight, Montane Monkey-Faced Bat. Endemic to the Solomon Islands, the Montane Monkey-Faced Bat was described as a new species in 1991, after it was last seen the year before on Guadalcanal Island. That solitary bat was the only one ever encountered, leaving experts little to learn from when it comes to understanding the creature's biology. The Montane monkey-faced bat hails from a very rare genus of bats, commonly called megabats, or fruit bats, and evolved in isolation, making it even more genetically unique. Although nobody has officially seen one in 30 years, it is not considered extinct yet. The species is listed as critically endangered and possibly extinct, but are there any left out there? Experts seem to be holding out slight hope for now. They believe that any existing montane monkey-faced bat populations dwell at altitudes of over 3,900 feet above sea level. The creatures have only been documented in environments at this elevation, and only on Guadalcanal Island. So if there are any left, they are probably restricted to this very small area. Number 7. Ethiopian Lion Most African lions live in the savanna of sub-Saharan Africa, with very few appearing elsewhere. Because of how little they've been studied, it's unclear whether those populations elsewhere are genetically distinct subspecies. Ethiopian lions, known for their conspicuously dark manes, were thought to be extinct until 2016, when a population of about 50 were confirmed. Nearby, across the border in Sudan, is another small group numbering around 100. In 2017, a research team, including an ornithologist and a conservation biologist, captured one of these elusive black-maned Ethiopian lions on camera. They drove three days to get to the remote region in which they spotted the creature, a place called the Alatash National Park, which no tourists have ever visited. With the amount of damage humans are known to cause to endangered species, the lions are probably better off being so far away from us and this distance likely increases their chances of being brought back from the brink of extinction. Number 6. Gilbert's Potoru The small creature known as Gilbert's Potoru, or Thengel cat, is Australia's most endangered marsupial, as well as one of the world's most fungi-dependent mammals. It was discovered in 1840 and vanished just 40 years later, leading experts to believe it went extinct. This remained the case for quite some time, for around a century to be precise, Researchers eventually resolved that the Gilbert's Potoru was long gone, perhaps due to European colonization of Australia. Then, in December 1994, a researcher named Liz Sinclair rediscovered the species in Western Australia, on the slopes of Mount Gardner, while studying wallabies, and then she unexpectedly caught a specimen in a trap. Today, this is the only known wild population. It's thought to number less than 100, with some estimating the remaining specimens at around 70. Gilbert's Potorus exist only in southwestern Australia, over a small area spanning 2,471 acres at most, within the Two People's Bay Nature Reserve. To spare the species from extinction, conservationists are working to establish populations at Bald Island and Michaelmas Island, but for now, scientists hesitate to get high hopes about the future of the Gilbert's Potoru, which hangs by a thread to the edge of existence. Number 5. Horton Plains Slender Loris Researchers discovered the Horton Plains Slender Loris in 1937. Endemic to Sri Lanka, the creature was already so rare by then that it wasn't seen again for another 60 years. Conservationists gained hope that the Loris was still out there in 2002, when a creature resembling it briefly appeared during the night. The Zoological Society of London conducted further investigations and concluded in 2009 that the Horton Plains Slender Loris is in fact still around, albeit in extremely limited numbers. Researchers managed to photograph two of the creatures and estimated the species population at 100 or less, possibly making it the world's rarest primate, according to National Geographic. The animal is mostly threatened by habitat loss resulting from cutting down trees for firewood, and because it only dwells in a small portion of Sri Lanka, it is constantly in ever-increasing danger of extinction. For now, the goal is to save however many are left by protecting and preserving their dwindling environment. Scientists know very little about these elusive tree dwellers, which until recently were considered a subspecies of the red slender loris. Now, based on photographs captured in 2009, experts believe that the Horton Plains slender loris may constitute its own separate species. Number 4. New Zealand Storm Petrel 
Nicknamed the seabird capital of the world, New Zealand shores are home to over 100 species of breeding seabirds. Included among them is the New Zealand storm petrel, a small, fast-flying, black-and-white bird that was thought to be extinct starting in 1850. But in 2003, the species reappeared, after over a century of not a single recorded observation occurring. A group of extremely lucky birdwatchers had the rare opportunity of spotting the bird, and the quick-thinking spectators made sure to snap a photo. The New Zealand storm petrel's existence was doubly confirmed two years later, when one landed on a boat belonging to a fisherman and former conservation ranger. Following the bird's rediscovery, conservationists worked for years to determine where it nests. This was a difficult task, considering the species' nocturnal lifestyle and elusive nature, but in 2013, researchers finally found a nesting site. They subsequently captured 400 specimens for the purpose of preserving the New Zealand storm petrel, which they optimistically believe may number in the thousands, although an exact count is unavailable. That's good news, right? Number 3. Fernandina Giant Tortoise the Galapagos Islands were once home to an estimated 300,000 giant tortoises. Today, those numbers are diminishing, and finding certain subspecies, for example, the Fernandina giant tortoise, is becoming increasingly difficult. The Fernandina giant tortoise disappeared over a century ago, with the last known live specimen on the island being confirmed in 1906, leading scientists to conclude that it was likely extinct. In fact, until recent years, the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List officially listed the Fernandina giant tortoise as possibly extinct. But some researchers held out hope that the subspecies was still out there, based on ranger sightings of the creature's feces, and a team spent over a decade planning an expedition to find one. Their efforts proved successful when, in February 2019, they found a female specimen on Fernandina Island. She's estimated to be around 100 years old and is the only known surviving member of her species, although some experts believe more may be out there, based on signs they've noticed around the island. The team took the female to a breeding center in what could turn out to be a last-ditch effort to save the species if they do not find any more survivors. For now, they continue to search for Nandina for other tortoises, while conducting DNA tests on the one they found to confirm that she's an authentic Fernandina tortoise and in hopes of breeding her and reviving the species. Number 2. Crested Gecko Native to southern New Caledonia, a French territory in the southern Pacific Ocean, the Crested Gecko, or the Eyelash Gecko, was first officially described in 1866. The unique creature can lick its own eyeballs and stick to walls using electromagnetism. It's got all kinds of superpowers. But it disappeared from human observation for nearly 130 years and was not seen again until 1994. Following a tropical storm, a team led by German herpetologist Robert Seip rediscovered the crested gecko in its native habitat. Researchers collected numerous live specimens following the creature's re-emergence and brought them back to the US and Europe for further analysis. During that time, they bred the creatures in captivity and with surprising success. To avoid further jeopardizing the species' wild population, it is now illegal to export the crested gecko from its natural habitat, where it is threatened primarily by fire ants, whom it competes with for food and is also eaten by. But the crested gecko is now one of the most commonly bred captive lizards, and the ease with which this was accomplished offers hope that the species will survive in its proper environment. Number 1. Saber-toothed Cat Saber-toothed cats, known for their massive canines, came from the extinct Smilodon genus of big cats. The smallest species among them weighed as much as 220 pounds, while the largest tipped the scales at up to 880 pounds. All these cats have one thing in common, however. They are not thought to have lived past around 10,000 years ago, when the last of them went extinct at the end of the Pleistocene epoch. Every now and then, however, there are claims of someone spotting an extinct saber-toothed cat. Most of these accounts originate in South America, and one is detailed in author Peter Matheson's 1996 book, The Cloud Forest. The text describes the animal as a rare striped cat not quite so large as a jaguar and very timid, which is possessed of two very large protruding teeth. Additionally, the 1975 shooting of a 160-pound so-called mutant jaguar in Paraguay is mentioned in Carl Schuker's Mystery Cats of the World. One of its canine teeth allegedly measured a foot long, according to zoologist Juan Acabar, who reportedly examined the animal. Curiously, 
The exact location of where the specimen was shot remains undisclosed, and the authorities classified it as a jaguar. Did they do this because it actually was a jaguar, or did they do this because they didn't know what it was and didn't want to alarm the locals? While some people go with the latter theory, most experts will agree that it's not just unlikely, but virtually impossible that someone witnessed a surviving Smilodon specimen after the genus went extinct so many thousands of years ago. Thanks for watching! What animal would you like to see in real life? Can you think of any extinct animals that might still be out there? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!